The movie opens up showing us the time of 2005 as shown. Martin's family is shown on the scene. We see Mr. Martin, Mrs. Martin and their two daughters among them. Their elder daughter was Grace and a younger Amanda. Welcome to Movie Land. Please help us grow by subscribing and turning on the notifications. It means a lot. Spoilers ahead. Enjoy. Now Martin purchases an Indian robotic company. In the next scene, Martin turns on that robot before his family. After being activated, that robot states the three rules of robots. Their first law included that no robot is allowed to injure or attack any human. The second law was that robots have to carry out the orders of humans, except for the order of killing another man. The third law comprised this, robots have to secure their existence. Seeing this, the whole family is shocked. Martin's younger daughter names the robot Andrew. But Martin's elder daughter named Grace does not like robots at all. Mr. Martin gives the place to the robot to live in the basement. Now Mr. Martin sets the system of Andrew as the duties as house maintenance and keeping. The next day, Andrew performs all his duties. It also cleans the basement. He finds an old record player there. It also mends this. One day, Martin's elder daughter Grace cracks a joke with Andrew. She asks Andrew to jump from the window. Andrew does the same and it jumps from the window. On this, Mr. Martin scolds both of his daughters badly. He says no matter that Andrew is indeed a robot but we should not do such with it. We should consider it a member of our family. One day, Martin's whole family goes to a beach during vacation. Amanda was playing with her glass horse there. But that glass horse is broken mistakenly by Andrew. Amanda becomes so sad about this and Andrew was feeling so ill about this. Now Andrew makes a wooden horse for Amanda to mend its mistake. And it keeps it on her bed, going there. In this way, Andrew and Amanda are befriended. One day, Mr. Martin, notices that wooden horse. He becomes so astonished thinking it has been made by Andrew. And he thinks about how a robot can make a very beautiful artificial horse, employing its creativity. Martin goes to Andrew and he notices that it was listening to something on the old record player. Seeing this, he is very shocked. Through these actions, he leads Andrew to the robotic company. And Mr. Martin, tells the CEO of the company that Andrew has developed the human activity. As creativity, imagination, love for others and friendship. And he shows the created things of Andrew to the CEO. And he asks, were all these set in its system before? He says it is only a system. We can take back this system if you don't need this, and we can give you a new report in its place. But Martin refuses this. And he moves away, taking Andrew. Now Martin alters a little changing the system of Andrew. Now he sets its activities and avocations along with the domestic duties in its system. As it can also find spare time for these tasks. Otherwise, Martin will teach Andrew the human manners of living daily. The time continues to pass. And Andrew makes the wooden creative things. But he used to make mostly the wooden big wall clocks. Otherwise, he also learns about the feelings and the emotions of human beings. Amanda also teaches Andrew how to play Ate piano. And Amanda and Andrew become close friends with time. In this way, Amanda is grown young. One day, Martin decides that, that all wooden things should be sold, made by Andrew. Amanda, says her father, we will sell the things made by Andrew. And the received money will be deposited after opening the account of Andrew. Martin advises Amanda, it is only a robot. We should not be part of it emotionally. Now Martin agrees with Amanda. They sell all clocks. And they deposit the received money in the bank account after making it open. After a few days, the marriage of Amanda was going to be held. And she was in conflict about whether she should marry or not. She comes to Andrew to resolve this conflict. Andrew was working there. It cuts one of its fingers because of the disturbance of Amanda. Amanda, says Andrew, thanks for being a good friend. And she also requests it to wear a suit at her wedding. Martin takes Andrew to the company to repair his finger. And he also warns them there that they will not change the system of Andrew. Because Andrew had developed the human feelings in its system. Andrew, asks that company, can he alter its face look? Because it needed such a face through which it could develop the face expressions. In this way, Andrew gets a new face. Andrew participates in the marriage ceremony of Amanda, wearing a suit. Now its face look had also altered. After the marriage function, Martin was seated alone. At the same time, Andrew comes and shows the video of Amanda to Martin. Martin had saddened after the wedding of Amanda. He says to Andrew, I have left alone now. Andrew comforts him and says, don't worry. I'll always be there for you. In the same way, time passes. Twelve years had passed that Andrew lived with Martin. Amanda had also a son named Lloyd. And he did not like Andrew at all. One day, Andrew, 
says Amanda, I need freedom. I don't want to leave my family. But I need an option. I want to discover the world. Now Andrew, says to Martin, handing him over a check, I need liberty. I am willing to move to another place. Martin feels so ill, hearing this because Andrew was his closest friend. He also scolds his daughter Amanda. Because it was Amanda who had put all ideas into Andrew's mind. Amanda, says to her father, how much time can you stop Andrew with you? One day, Andrew has to move away. Now Martin returns the check of Andrew as being sad-hearted. And he frees it. And Andrew leaves Martin now. After a time, it buys a place at the beach and builds a very beautiful house. Sixteen years had passed that Andrew lived in that house. He learns many things from the world and he also creates many wooden things, living there. Amanda had also grown old. One day, she comes to Andrew, and he tells Andrew that Martin's condition is so worst. He is at the last stage of his age and he yearns to meet you. Andrew goes to meet Martin. Martin says Andrew, forgive me. You had asked for your freedom many years ago. And you were right. He places his hand on the hand of Andrew and says to him for a long year of service, thanks. Saying this, Martin meets his end instantly. Now Andrew feels these things, he had to tour the outside world. And he also had to search for an NDR robot like it. But it was not a drop in a bucket to go outside. So it appeals in the court. Amanda's son Lloyd deals with Andrew's case. He had a disliking for Andrew. So he gets permission from the court for Andrew's traveling. So it may go far from his mother Amanda. Now Andrew visits the different countries. And it searches for NDR robots like it. Andrew used to contact Amanda by writing the letters. One day, Andrew comes to know that a robot like it has been built in a country. It encounters a female robot there when it reaches there. It was so energetic, it feels so exciting, to see it. And it reaches a storeroom while chasing her. It feels so happy, to witness that female robot. Then it knows that, this robot is so energetic, and this robot's personality chip has been turned on. It means someone has set its system to be like this. While it is not like this in reality. It meets with that robot's owner Rupert. He tells Andrew that, his father used to serve in an Indian robotic company. But my father was terminated from there. Later, my father inaugurated this company. Now I manage this company after him. Andrew also knows about this here, that Rupert wants to build such a suit, the robot will look exactly like human beings if it wears this suit. But he is not finding any shareholders to invest in his project. Andrew feels much happiness, hearing this. And it gets ready to invest money in his project. But Rupert will build a suit like a human for Andrew in return. And Andrew soon gets the human-like suit. Now Andrew was looking 40 years old man after wearing this suit. Now it is very satisfied with this. Now it moves into the house of Amanda to shock her. He observes a girl at Amanda's house when it goes there. Who was resembling Amanda. And she was playing the piano. At the same time, Amanda arrives there who had grown old now. She remains unable to recognize Andrew. Then Andrew, tells her that, I am Andrew. Amanda, tells it, she is her granddaughter who is playing the piano. It means that she is the daughter of her son Lloyd and her name was Portia. Now Andrew returns to its house again and begins to live there. It also keeps a dog with it. One day, Andrew again goes to meet Portia with its dog. Portia realizes here that Andrew needs a human friend. After a few days, Andrew receives the news that Amanda has suffered a heart attack. Andrew goes to meet Amanda. She had the same horse in her hand given for the first time by Andrew. She says to Andrew for its friendship, thanks. Amanda dies as a result of this. When Andrew sees his ex-friend die, he becomes sad. But the tears were still not being not shed by him. Andrew goes to Rupert again and it says to him that, it needs artificial human organs. It was hard for Rupert. But he agrees to make this and he also gets success in making this. He had created artificial human organs. Rupert explains to Andrew this, that it may feel the pain if the artificial human organs are set in its machine. Andrew accepts this. Meanwhile, Portia and Andrew becomes affectionate. And they also go to the party together. The next day, Portia, tells Andrew. That she cannot be in love with a robot. After this, Andrew leaves as being sad. Now the organs are set in the machine of Andrew and it could also feel the pain through this. Now it goes to Portia, being happy. And it asks her to prick its eye. Andrew feels much pain when Portia does so. It says to Portia, now we both can build a relationship. But Portia, says to it, no matter that I am in love with you but my marriage is going to be held soon. Hearing all, Andrew leaves that place. On the other side, Rupert who had built a female robot, now it says to him, it is not willing to serve him. Rupert understands this, 
that its personality chip has been removed by Andrew. Rupert goes to Andrew, and he demands the personality chip. First of all, Andrew refuses, but it hands over Rupert that personality chip later. Now they move to Portia's engagement. Portia was also interested in Andrew and she was perhaps waiting for this. That Andrew may come here and takes her with it, spoiling her engagement. After this, Rupert and Andrew move away. Rupert, tells Andrew that, he is bringing new technology through which it may be converted into a complete human. These changes may include its lustfulness. Later, it will be changed into a complete human. The next day, Andrew meets with Portia and tells her that, he has feelings for her. But Portia begins to leave from there in rage. Andrew holds her hand. Then they spend a very good time. The next day, Andrew is seen who was taking breakfast like the humans. But Portia, says to Andrew, people will never accept our relationship. Now Andrew appeals to the court that it should be given a state of a proper human being. Andrew could feel, and bear pain and he was also in love. Despite this, it loses its case because of one cause. Because it could not grow with time. It means that human being grows old and dies later. And this natural state was still not in Andrew. Andrew cannot be given the state of humans until it grows with time. At first sight, time passed and Portia had grown to 75 years old, but Andrew was still young. Portia gets so worried because of this. That Andrew is still the same. Andrew, says to Portia that, you can stay alive with me because of the advanced technology of today. Portia refuses this and explains to him, human beings cannot stay alive forever. A child comes into life, grows up and dies after reaching his old age. And this is the wheel of life. Now Andrew, thinks this, sitting there, he is not to remain forever. But he has to remain only with one person. It means, with Portia, now he again moves to Rupert. Rupert's company had extended. And he was running a successful business. Rupert himself had also grown old. Andrew, says to Rupert, convert him into a complete human. One fluid it also poured into Andrew's machine as the artificial organs had been set there. Now it extracts that fluid and pours the blood into Andrew's body completely. Rupert, says to him, this blood will never be in its body. This blood will continue to over and he will be grown old with time. And it will die within 20 to 25 days. Now Andrew agrees with this. Now Andrew had converted into a human being completely. Now Andrew comes before the court again. Andrew had grown old now. The time from which it had been made, now two decades had passed. He tells the court, he has to live like a human bot like a robot or machine. Court judge takes time to announce his decision. After some time, Portia and Andrew are seen. Who had grown very old. Then Rupert who had built that female robot there, it was also looking like the human beings completely. Meanwhile, the court judge announces his decision. Andrew and Portia hold their hands with each other. In the end, we see that, court gives Andrew the status of a human being, considering Portia and Andrew's marriage legal. But Andrew dies before hearing this decision and it leaves the hand of Portia. It means a robot had died after converting into a human being after two decades. Portia, says to that robot, Andrew was always a human. He didn't require a court's decision. In addition, she passes away while holding Andrew's hand. This is the story of a robot which was alive for two decades. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.